There is an innovative technology to process food and it has some great advantages. It's called Pulsed Electric Field, also known as PEF technology. Conventional food processing technologies often make use of thermal methods, which means that high temperatures are applied to the raw materials to process them into food products. Unfortunately, this negatively impacts the freshness, texture and nutritional value of foods. More and more consumers want fresh and healthy food that looks and tastes as though it came straight from the farm. That's where pulsed electric field technology can play a role. With PEF processing, short electric pulses are applied to foods. These pulses create pores in plant cells, making the content accessible for the next processing step. These pulses also inactivate microbial cells, improving the safety and shelf life of the product. This technology has great potential for improving the competitiveness of small and medium enterprises. That's why Field Food has made PEF technology more accessible for SMEs by developing PEF equipment that is low cost and portable and can easily be integrated into existing food processing lines. The fruit or vegetable will determine the size and shape of the treatment chamber. There are many advantages of processing foods with PEF. For example, processes such as maceration of grape skins during red wine making and malaxation of crushed olives in olive oil production require less time and effort when pre-processed with PEF. Also removing peels from fruits and vegetables, such as tomatoes, is less energy intensive than traditional peeling processes. Shapes, textures and colours of foods are improved with this innovative process. PEF makes it more efficient to extract fruit juices and oils with higher purity compared to conventional processing methods. PEF extracted juices and oils contain less water and a higher amount of pigments and antioxidants. For example, PEF treated tomatoes have a high lycopene content. The shelf life of food products is extended by inactivating microbes at low temperatures using PEF technology. This increases flexibility in planning, storing and distribution. Field Food tested PEF technology on grapes, olives, tomatoes, berries and apples. Now, let's first have a look at processing olives into olive oil. The PEF treatment is applied between the crushing of the olives and the malaxation step. Using PEF can increase the oil yield by 1 to 2 percent. Also, the malaxation time can be reduced, lowering processing time and energy input. Thanks to the increase in the extraction yield, 3.75 million additional salads can be dressed with the extra olive oil when 3,000 ton per year olives are processed. When apples are processed into apple juice, PEF treatment is applied between the milling of the apples and the pressing step. When producing 1,800 ton per year of apple juice with PEF, the CO2 emission saved is equivalent to three return trips between Rome to Beijing by car. Now let's look at processing tomatoes. PEF treatment is applied to raw tomatoes in the first washing step. This facilitates skin removal during steam peeling, saving 20 to 30 percent energy. When processing 15,000 ton per year of tomatoes with PEF, the amount of CO2 emissions equivalent to the weight of 651 Asian elephants is saved. Looking at processing grapes into wine, PEF treatment is applied before the maceration of the grapes, reducing the maceration time by 50 percent. Using PEF to produce 1 million bottles of red wine saves an equivalent water volume of one Olympic swimming pool. When processing apples for cider, PEF treatment is applied twice in the production process, before the pressing phase and fermentation phase. After PEF treatment, up to plus 7.5% extra juice can be extracted from a batch of firm apples. With PEF, Food producers can reduce processing time of raw materials, reduce water and energy consumption, increase the nutritional value of the end products, extend the shelf life, 
enhance the freshness and taste, develop new products with modified tissues and textures, increase industrial profitability by adding value to byproducts, which ultimately improves food safety, quality and the competitiveness of food companies.